lovely service to Victorian Athletics, even though he's no longer employed at Little Athletics. So they're off and racing. Clock is now going. And they're all very keen to get on the inside rail very quickly there, Tim. It's a bit of a bunch there as the uh, two pacemakers wake their way around to the front. Okay. Me and, and I'm not sure, you might check for me as they come around. Maybe it's McIntyre with the hat backwards. Certainly is. You cannot miss the style of Clary McIntyre. He doesn't even need a fluoro shirt for me to spot that one. And he's got the cap on as well, backwards. So me and McIntyre. Schaumburg's up there. Alistair Strutt, he's an interesting one too, Nick. He's got a nine-minute seed time. Now, none of these guys have broken nine minutes according to this listing. So 72 seconds is the pace schedule for nine minutes, 72. Let's see how many we can get under it on this perfect night at Box Hill. We've had Morgan Mitchell set the scene with her PB over 800. We saw Harry Summers smash an age-old record for the Box Hill Club. Taken the record. So, Tim, uh, Daniel Dunstan and Alistair Strutt there at 70 seconds with the two uh, race leaders proper. Uh, Daniel Dunstan, what a story that kid is. I loved watching him as a junior come through. Certainly grown his hair since then. Uh, and he's the one that's chasing down our pacemakers at the moment with Strutt of Glen Huntley. And I think it's also his Glen Huntley teammate next to him. Possibly there in Jack Heinem, is it? Yeah, hi, Hignam, eh? Um, Daniel Dunstan came from a gymnastics background, so body positioning and body awareness has been, always been one of his strengths. And you can see from the musculature on Daniel, he's got that very fine gymnastics look to him, which really does help his athletics. Good core strength. So down the back straight, the pacemaker's doing a really good job of it. Tim, uh, what, sort of, uh, what sort of laps are we looking for to go maybe, I don't know, let's say 9.05 what sort of, or 9 minutes even? What sort uh, of pace who, is that? Who cares about 9.05? They've got to go sub 9, 72 second laps. Okay, so that's, that's a second lap in 71. So we've gone 71, 71. Daniel Dunstan's not happy with the pace and he's gone right up to the shoulder of James Mann. So it's still those two Glenn Huntley athletes next on the track. Eureka's Ben Ludbrook. In behind them, the South Melbourne colours prominent there, and that's Mitch Waring. Yep, Mitch now part of the Hippo squad and having a lovely comeback at the moment. Did the steeple over the weekend, pretty good opener, and it's good to see yep. Mitch back out on the track. It's good to see guys like Mark Hipworth giving back to the uh, see him in the Xavier Athletics program, quite prominent now, taking up that head coach role. So Strutt's still looking good. Benny Ludbrook, he's looking good too, just sitting off the back of Hignam. I think Morell is up there too. Is Bailey Morell? Who's our Frankston runner? Yep, Bailey Morell. I know my runners. So he's looking good in the mid pack, right near Mitch Waring in the red and white of South Melbourne. So Dunstan's still wedged between the two pacemakers. What's it look like out in the back there? So now? James Means trying to almost pull Dunstan along here. McIntyre's piling the next two Glen Huntley doys. We talked about Norton also from Geelong Guild. And they've gone 70 seconds for that lap. So we've gone 71, 71, 70. And that's for Dunstan. Probably the rest of the field have gone 71 evens right through. So Norton, the Geelong Guild athlete, fifth on the field at the moment. If you take out McIntyre, the pacemaker. I think the leg number there that I've missed, Craig takes the athlete unattached to a club there. And he leads through the other Box Hill athlete in Josh McLeod. I think a Trinity boy possibly, or at least one of the Steve Ellinghouse crew there. And he's six back on the track. But Dunstan's pushed it out to 20 metres as they come past you, Tim. Yeah, Dunstan's looking good. Little, probably 15 metres then to McIntyre. We've still got Strutt. Then we've got Norton from Geelong Guild. He's got his teammates here cheering him on. This is an important race, too. This is like the sub two minute and the eight. We want to get as many of these guys under that nine as we can. There is a lot of young talent in this race, so crowd either side of the track get right behind them. 72 second laps. The, uh, as we push past sort of, you know, nine o'clock into the evening, Tim, some of the local residents are saying just keep it allowed a little bit, I think, including my three children asleep. But Zach Norton, now the one dragging the rest of the pack through. That group, though, is hanging on strong, including at the back of that group, it's Seamus Graham. So a group of nine athletes are now 30 metres down on Dunstan. Zach Norton's piling them through, looking very good. 
in the middle of them, McLeod's a good mover. And then Messini's got the next pack with Harry Bowen and Fred Leighton, the junior from Old Scotch. And they're not that far out of it. The field is certain, the tempo's certainly on. It's well inside most of these lads' PBs, as we talked about. A lot of them are sort of 9.05 to 9.15. And Daniel Dunstan is clicking along nicely. Yeah, Nick, you can do us a big favour by getting the 2K split over that side as they go through. I'm sure some of the coaches help. We want Dunstan split, and we also want the chase pack split. So a few guys just starting to show the signs now because the pace has been on, the field is spread out, so we can see Dunstan entering the back straight. As he goes past the 200 mark, that'll be one kilometre to go. It's closed a little bit, interestingly, Tim. As we get through 2K... That pack is just getting a little bit closer to Daniel Dunstan. Yeah, McIntyre's actually doing a great job of taking Hignam up there. He's still tracking at 71s. He's still on 71s as he goes through in 5.55. The pack behind him was on 6 minutes or maybe 5.59. The pack, it was 5.59, it was for the Glen Huntley boy. Norton at 6 minutes and he's the, the group that includes Eureka's Young, Ben Ladbrook, Josh McLeod and also Zach Norton at six minutes. So they're on that nine minute pace. Dunstan though, I think might get joined by a couple of that group behind him in the next sort of 400 meters. And it might actually help us pull these guys home really quick. Craig takes the one I can't tell you anything about. And he's third on the course at the moment, Tim, as they go past you. So 800 to go and the guys have got it if they want it. This whole pack of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight can break nine minutes if they've got the ticker to do it, if they really want it. So Dunstan leads from Hignan. Looks like it's one of the Dean runners there coming through in the next position. That could be Tate. I don't know if it is a Dean runner. We're not going to give Steve that much claim. I think it's just Tate's on his one of his debuts. So Benny Ludbrook sitting there in fifth position. He's got a best of 9.14. He's going to smoke it Let's tonight. Go, guys. As they go through with 600 to go, you were correct. It is Tate. Tate is one of those Deneen runners. Why should I doubt Deneen and that squad that he's building here? But Daniel Dunstan, he's still got a 10 metre lead on Hignam. Tate's the one going with him. And now it is, oh, who is it there? Moved into fourth. It's not Norton. But one of our other juniors is becoming the third and looks really strong also. Oh, this is awesome, Nick, because we're going to have some guys absolutely... Pull apart their PBs. We've got Norton from Geelong Gill. He's got a 9.16. He's going to smash that. As we see Tate take the lead one late out. They're on 7.45. Then it is Dunstan, Hignam. Then we've got the Keelos and Bernard's runner there. Which it's Jacob Bell, Tim. Jacob Bell's the one that I was trying to call and find before. And he has come from nowhere to move into the track on fourth. But it's Craig Tate, Deneen in front. He's one of the guys here that I think is a bit of a track novice because he had the hip number on the wrong leg when he lined up in the start line. But I tell you what, he can certainly run. With 200 to go, Craig, you're at 8.16. Flies at home. Dunstan, who's done all the work, is going to run a big PB. Hignam's looking good. Bell, we just talked about. You mentioned Norton. It's going to be a massive PB for Norton. We're talking 20 seconds if he holds it up. Ludbrook. Come on. Then back to McLeod. And the St. Stephen's athlete leads the rest, including Harry Bowen, but they're on the front straight, Tim. Front straight, it's your turn to get behind them. We want to get as many of these boys under nine. There's going to be some huge PBs. Get right behind them as Tate. He has dropped a big one here. It's going to be an 8.50. We've got Dunstan in the next position, Norton, and also Bell, 55, 56. 57, we've got them under. That's a happy face. Benny Ludbrook's just the wrong side, but a big PB for Ben. And then we've got the Box Hill runner there in McLeod. So Whoa. we're still inside 9-10, Tim. We're still inside 9-10. Yep. And these, there are plenty of athletes here who'd never run faster than 9-10 tonight. Even Messini can hold his head up high. Just been sledged by Ross Cunningham, so he's spending too much time in Bali. But Messini's run well as well. What a D race there in the men's 3,000 metres. I know it was a big win from Craig Tate. I haven't got much I can tell you about him apart from the Dineen singlet. 